Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Cliff Wiegers, and I'm the president of Wiegers Financial and Benefits, and welcome to another episode of Cliffhangers. Today, I'm going to revisit a topic that we've talked about in the past, which is goal planning. I started doing goal planning approximately 38 years ago when I got into this industry, and I'd write down my goals and spend very little time doing it, but I'd write them down because a manager of the place I worked at wanted to see them. But what I noticed was that every year, I started to spend more and more time doing it, and it became more and more meaningful. And then in 2008, I was introduced to a book that one of my employees who had worked at Starbucks gave me uh, that was profiled in their store. It was a book called Five, which is basically the next five years of your life. So this book is particularly of value for anybody who is looking for personal and professional growth. So basically all aspects of your life. So in 2008, when I, when I read this book, it takes about two, two and a half hours to go through it. It basically was covering off the next five years of my life. Everything that I wanted to do or achieve or accomplish, not just one area, every area. It made me rank what I thought I had achieved so far and where I was at and where I might have been short. And so I started doing that and a couple of the big things that came out of this book and goal planning in general is number one, think it. Number two, ink it. And number three, share it with somebody. By just doing that and not working on your goals any further, what you're gonna find is subconsciously, that little thing in the back of your mind is gonna propel you to your goals. I review this book about once, uh, I'd say once every three to six months to see what I'm doing. And a lot of times I check things off because I did them. And if I check something off because I achieved a bucket list travel destination, what I might do now is add a new destination on. But the fact of the matter remains is that I go back and every five years I revise this, but yearly I review it multiple times. In this book, there's a quote by an individual who says that on average, those people who think it, ink it, share it, who actually write their goals down, achieve about a nine times larger net worth estate in the long run than those who don't. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm not saying that building an empire is everything, but to be able to do that, you can achieve a lot of other goals in life too, everything from philanthropy, to travel, to helping your families, to helping your communities. So, I really believe in this. I stress it to all my clients. I try to help them to get there. I try to help them to stretch. If you haven't seen this, take advantage of it. If you need any information from us, please look us up on our website at Uyghurs.ca or contact us. Anyways, have a super day and we'll see you next time.